Back to Meredith tries to watch as many movies that are in award contention this season before the Oscars. Now I have the perfect shirt. Last night I watched Saltburn and I'm already poised to love this movie. First of all, the director is Emerald Fennell, who you may recognize as Camilla Parker Bowles from season three and four of The Crown. She was also in earlier seasons of Call the Midwife. I really loved her film Promising Young Woman, although the ending was kind of eh for me, but I'm already on board. Plus, this movie is set in 2006 and I graduated high school, started college in 2006, so the fashion felt real. I felt those juicy guitar sweatpants with juicy across the butt. Livestrong bracelet, inspired touch. But also, <laughs> Jacob Alordi with an eyebrow ring? Like, okay, okay. <laughs> Me remembering I'm no longer in my 20s and that's how old Jacob Alordi is in real life. This is the kind of psychological thriller that is right up my alley. It is so twisty and turny and the performances are incredible. Rosamund Pike is in character from the jump and every single scene she is in, she absolutely owns it. It's, oh my God, it's so dark and so delish. Barry Keoghan is so good in this movie, but like, let's make something real clear. <laughs> this is not an 18 year old or however old he's supposed to be. I'm assuming 18. Barry is in his early 30s in real life and that tracks. And that's not to shame Barry Keoghan in any way, shape or form. He did a great job inhabiting a teenage boy, but it was just, yeah, we know. It's really more a commentary on the fact that rarely can women in their late 30s play the love interests of people in their 40s and 50s. And that apparently, and I haven't looked into this, Melissa Joan Hart is 47 and she's going to be playing a grandmother. Like, what are we doing here? Not that 47 year olds cannot be grandmothers. I really like this movie. I mean, Jacob Elordi wears angel wings in this movie. What else do you need? What else do you really need? It's a really good movie. I highly recommend it. Rosamund Pike needs to be up for Best Supporting Actress for this film.